Good morning, folks. Today we'll have looks at the sun, a super typhoon in the West Pacific, pre-earthquake electromagnetic anomalies, a mystery within the Heinrich layers of the cyclical disaster, and we had a special video out last night. Let's start with the last 24 hours on our star. After a filament snap on the south, it was a relatively quiet day, only one M-class flare, but it was impulsive once again. The space weather story at the moment is the departing coronal hole on the south and the persistence of the sunspot groups. Let's take a peek at those sunspots here and find that the northern group remains expansive and complex. If we get any flares today, it's most likely to be from there. While we watch for those X-ray events, we should be expecting the faster solar wind from that departing coronal hole to arrive within the next day, and it should reinvigorate geomagnetic unrest. Also have a big plasma filament coming in behind the northern sunspots. Let's go to the West Pacific where the super typhoon is aiming at Guam. It is expected to be one of the most powerful storms to hit the island in a few decades, so prayers for the people there are warranted. It is a beast of a system. Let's go next to pre-earthquake signals. They are noticing persistent patterns of electron and ion density shifts in the atmosphere before the earthquakes, as well as electron temperature increases. The study of these signals continues to deepen and solidify even while they aren't putting it yet into actual practice for real-world earthquake warnings. Excellent paper here on how the only way they can imagine to explain the sediment layers in the Heinrich events is for the ice to have sediment spread throughout the ice, which they don't think was the case and which they don't see in the ice now. At no point do they consider the possibility that massive floods carry sediment from the land during these 6,000 year cycle events, which would explain the mix of mud and ice and which is exactly what the evidence has shown happens in these major global events. Lastly, folks, if you didn't catch last night's video, we went over some good science and also told a story which has extreme relevance to the mental preparation and the upcoming mega induction when the solar flash occurs. Watch it if you missed it. We greatly appreciate your support. Learn more at the links below the video. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.